Good morning. Friday Eve. Okay, so probably not going to have um, a big audience this morning because everybody is probably getting ready for work. So, um, I've got my little black box. I've got my concealer, I mean my foundations and my concealers. So, I just sprayed my primer on and I have my um, skin therapist, my moisturizer. I've also got my um, Sotox and One Drop Wonder. So, my skin feels fabulous. Oh, it says, congrats, this is your 50th broadcast. Does that mean I, like, get an award? Am I famous yet? <laughs> hey, Kim! Hey, I sent you a message. So, uh, check it out. Because uh, I have a couple questions for you. Drinking my pink drink. Okay, so I'm going to take my Shinto One right here. And I'm going to scrape a little bit on the back of my brush. I'm going to warm it up on the back of my hand. You don't need a lot, but that body temperature right there, God, that looks so like it's not my color, but it really is. So, I don't know if y'all have seen, um, but look, you can tell I have so many more pink undertones right here than I do. I have a lot of yellow right here on my neck, and when we color match, we color match true to your neck okay so um the reason i'm using the shinto is because it's golden and i do have golden undertones so this is where this is where we we typically look most everyone's face is going to have pink discoloration everywhere here okay but right here is where you can truly tell what your color is so this right here being on my hand is gonna get it to body temperature. I'm still gonna rub it in like I would if it was in the pan. And I've got our Limelight Buffer Brush, which is amazing. So I've got this on my finger already and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dot. And right now I'm in between colors, so I mix the Shinto one and the olive two and that olive two has that pinky to it so you can see the difference right there that is way more yellow than this is right there and so I'm just gonna mix them together and that's plenty y'all that's like plenty so you know I mean I do this all the time so not only do I use these for me but I use these for all of my parties too so these will last you forever and they're $36 I was spending $50 on my foundation alone Pfft, not anymore and like you do not have to put much so I'm still dotting it on and I'm gonna try and do this like as real time as I would if I were getting ready for work and I do have to tell y'all some stuff so it's not exactly like the easiest topic to discuss but it's real life okay and I'm taking this and I'm getting everything else that I had on my hand but um, I have had and I'm just I'm just swirling this in with a very light hand okay um I've had a really 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 tough time um adjusting to 
non full time cancer mom life. Um, when I went back to work, y'all, I had it was unlike anything I've ever experienced before in my life. Um, and I've always suffered from anxiety and depression, but um, it's always been manageable. And I've never had uh, like full on panic attacks that are debilitating to the point where I probably shouldn't have been driving to work. Uh, it was that bad. And the source of it was, obviously we know that my situation is cray right now, but um, it's, it's a lot different. I'm always the strong one. I'm always the one who is there to lift people up and give the encouragement that everybody needs. And I love that y'all that like gives me that, that helps me more than anything. It really does. Like I, um, and I'm rubbing my finger back in this cause this is, this is my personal kit. Um, if it wasn't, then I wouldn't be doing this, but um, I've never felt so powerless as, as I have, um, in the last several, well, I guess few weeks and, um, to the point where I knew that I needed, <laughs> I needed to reach out for help. Um, I've always been one that I'm aware enough of my, um, it's funny because professionally I do have to, <laughs> I've had to work on this, but it's one of my strengths now, but, um, self-awareness when it comes to, um, just mental mental illness uh, and mental illness can mean so many things I hate it that it like is cast in such a negative light I mean you know it's it is what it is like you're you're healthy or you're not I don't care if it's cancer or if it's you know psychologically it does not matter they're both debilitating um, I've never suffered such debilitating anxiety and depression as I have in the last few weeks. And um, I haven't come out and publicly said this, but um, after I met with my doctor last week, um, he said... I recommend that you immediately um, and there was a lot of um, it was it was very much insistent in his voice there was no question about it I recommend that you immediately go on leave from work well I, okay so that's great. I mean, you know, what am I supposed to do? I was on leave from work with Beck for my 12 weeks of um, FMLA. Okay, so that's already exhausted. Like, I have already exhausted all of my, all of my um, job protected coverage, period. End of story, like you get, it's, it's 12 weeks per rolling year. It's gone. I've already, I've already done that to take care of Beck. Um, so, staying on makeup, but I'm taking concealer too. And I'm scraping it out again. You don't have to do that if this is yours, but I'm trying to get in the habit because I do do this like um, with clients all the time. And um, 
you still need to warm it up and if you put it on the back of your hand it warms to your it warms to your body temperature quicker but um, you know I haven't talked a lot about this but um, and use your ring finger when you pat it's got the softest pad of any finger and I'm taking that and I'm just gonna color correct um, but I didn't know what to do y'all I mean I really did not have any idea and I have that color all on my finger so I'm gonna use this um, I didn't know what to do I was completely out out of out of options and I've not worked for the last 10 years to build my career and to build to help build the careers sorry there are barking neighborhood dogs I'm in I'm outside so I don't wake up the kids before it's time to go to school but like I didn't work my butt off to help women get equal pay and be taken seriously even if you're the cheerleader type I don't care that it doesn't hold men back so why should it hold us back I'm sorry but if a man is gonna be a cheerleader and is gonna cheer on his team then that is seen as the biggest positive that he can have but if it's a woman and I've literally I literally got this like I literally was told this in an evaluation um, that I was too sorority girl not professional enough to sorority girl because um, I was the cheerleader okay that's fine guess what my mentor she's the biggest cheerleader I've ever seen and she's the top female at JB hunt and I'm gonna tell you what I wouldn't have it any other way and neither would anybody else at JB Hunt they would not so um, going back to you know the things that have happened is um, my boss just I mean my my doctor just said you've got to go on leave like you are not healthy and it's gonna end up to where this is going to be a bad situation for you and your family if you don't if you don't get help and you got to get help fast and i'm so sick of people sweeping it under the rug mental mental illness is just as much of an ailment as cancer just like i said like it does not matter i don't care what i don't care what is hurting you and what is holding you back from like living your life whether it is psychologically or physiologically it doesn't matter well guess what mine was presenting both ways okay like I'm safe right here in my house because I know exactly where Beck is Beck is he's close enough to me that if something happened I could take him immediately to go get to go to the hospital or to go to the ER or to go to children's or whatever and I would be right there to help him um, so I mean there I've got my my concealer and my foundation on that quick and while I'm talking to y'all about this because this is a big deal and it's it's been extremely heavy on my heart um, I'm gonna take my my zero and I'm gonna warm that up and I'm gonna use that as my highlighter but um, I just want y'all to know that like yeah don't okay don't so look I'm going under that darkness I'm going under that orbital bone um, but don't don't shy away from asking for help and don't feel like you can't ask and you can't be public about it y'all I was at work for like a day and I realized that there was no way there was absolutely no way that I was gonna get through it and I tried to stay positive I tried to um, push through it because I try to push through everything just like all of us other like 
boss babe women do. We try to push through it. Hey, Carrie. Hey, are you going to be in Little Rock? Um, and we try to push through it. And we try to do what we have always done. We, we think of ourselves last. We take care of everybody else. And we think of ourselves last. And you know what? That's great. Because we are supposed to do that. Like in terms. In, in biblical terms. But if we do not take care of ourselves and we do not make sure that we are healthy whether it's physiologically or psychologically then we cannot care for our family and I want y'all to hear that if we do not take care of ourselves psychologically or physiologically we cannot take care of anyone else so think about that you if you are like me and you can't even come to terms with putting yourself first and caring for yourself first when you have all this other stuff going on exactly Carrie you can't if your cup is not filled you cannot pour into others you cannot and do you know what fills my cup? This. This fills my cup. Y'all, I can't. I, I, okay, so this is, the, this, is, this is what I was trying to get at. Is that I've had to take a crazy person psychological leave from work. I mean, I'm just not trying to like, you know, dress it up. But literally my doctor said no he said you cannot go back to work right now you I'm putting you on disability you are staying home you are going to therapy you're taking care of yourself I don't know how long this is gonna take thank God that Walmart has this option that I can do that now I don't want to dress it up um, because I have lost my job um, I won't be going back I won't be going back to the job that that I've had um, but that's okay um, because I know God will provide. I 100% I've been praying about this so much and I know that this is where God's leading me. Um, and thank God for limelight because I can be in my house and close to Beck and not have to worry about what happens if. And that is, that was like the main source of my panics, my panic attacks. And they were, y'all, they were, they were debilitating. Like it did not matter. I would have anxiety attacks before, but I'd never experienced a full on, I'd never experienced a full on panic attack that felt like a heart attack that like, you couldn't just treat with your Xanax that was for your times that you were out of it. And if there is anybody out there, the reason I wanted to do this, like, yeah, I said, okay, quick foundation and quick concealer video in the morning. But y'all, I just want to let you know that it's okay. It's okay if you're struggling. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay if you can't do it alone. I would much rather that you say, I can't do it alone. Because guess what guys, none of us can. We can't do anything without God. But sometimes God is also calling us to lean on the other people that have been put in our lives 
because we need help getting through these challenging situations. And I don't want anybody to be embarrassed to ask for help because I hate being vulnerable. I hate I hate not being the one that can help everybody else because being able to help everybody else is what fills my cup. And that's who I was whenever I was the cancer mom. Like I, and I still am, but I mean, I'd be at children's and I would go find the newly diagnosed parents and I'd reach out to them. And that would be like, yeah, I'd be helping them, but that's how my cup got filled. Like that was my place. And I just, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. And Carrie, you are so right. God provided me with limelight at the exact time that I needed it. The exact time that I needed it because he knew that I needed something to be able to reach out and to connect with people and to still, um, have my value and my worth and still work but also be able to be close to Beck because if if I that's when I melt down is when I I freak out when I don't know if I can be right there if something happens and this is waterproof but I don't know if y'all saw like the other video I said, but if you were like hysterically bawling, um, yeah, the concealer is waterproof, but when you start like dabbing Kleenex after Kleenex after Kleenex on it, no ma'am. So just let the tears free fall or pat them with your ring finger. <laughs> I mean, y'all, this has been the biggest godsend to me. I'm in the safety of my home. I don't have to freak out about leaving. And I still get to contribute. Not only to my family, but I get to contribute to um, possibly helping other people. And any of my other limelight girls on here they can attest to this but like one of the best things about limelight is making people see how beautiful they really are i mean everyone is everyone is so beautiful it doesn't matter what this looks like like who cares but to be the person that shows them like that you put some a few like red carpet products on your face and you get to feel like a celebrity for a little bit and it's not harmful and I never thought about it anything being harmful that I put on my skin before but when Beck was diagnosed like it changes your whole perspective and I think it's something like 80% and correct me if I'm wrong, Carrie, if you're still on here, but correct me if I'm wrong. Like, I think it's something like 80% is immediately absorbed into your bloodstream from what you put on your face. And that's why our CEO created our skincare is because a very close family friend of hers was diagnosed and we weren't to be a skincare company. We weren't to be an all natural skincare company. But one of Michelle's very close friends was diagnosed with a very rare type of cancer and God rest her soul, she ended up passing away. But she asked Michelle to please focus on bringing all natural. I mean, she was so healthy all of her life. And Michelle wasn't looking to do that. And, um, and I'm so glad that her friend's legacy gets to live on through all of us. Um, but 
I did the quick foundation. I did the quick concealer. And I just... I just want y'all to know that it's okay to ask for help if you need help. And... Um... I don't know when I'll be going back to work right now. Um, it depends on how my my therapy and my treatment and all of that goes. But, um, I mean, it's probably going to be a 12-week 12, 12 at least process. And um, people are going to be like, I know people are going to be like this because we always question what everybody else is going to think. But, um people are going to be like, well, why can you do limelight work when you can't go into the office and do work? Okay, ask the same exact question to an agoraphobic. Um, I mean, the whole thing that's surrounding all of the things that have been going on with my panic attacks and and oh, y'all that's where the insomnia came from that's where the I can't eat stuff came from like I was just shut down completely shut down and now that I'm here and I'm able to at the drop of a hat, if I need to grab him and go, I can go. But I can still contribute to the family by talking to my friends who give me support through everything. I mean, y'all have been there through this whole process. And this whole process has been crazy. But it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. God doesn't choose. God doesn't choose the weak people to be his warriors. And we have to think about it that way. We have to think about it that way. He wouldn't have chosen our family if he didn't think that we were strong enough to fight. And fight in his name and give glory to him through all of this. So, um... Just like I signed on, I'm going to sign off and say happy Friday Eve and um, enjoy all of the little moments and if you can't and if you're having a hard time then please reach out to me because I know what it's like and I will help you any way I can any way I can and um, also don't forget that um, Sunday is Mother's Day, but also Saturday, May 13th, is my birthday. <laughs> ah! Okay, so, I'd like to end that on a light note, but y'all have a great day and, um, a wonderful weekend, and in all seriousness, please, reach out to me if there's anything that I can do for you if you're having a hard time and if things if things seem like they're not going to get better I promise you they are you know why because our God is greater our God is greater than any setback that we will ever have and he knows everything that's going to happen in our lives he did not put all of these things masterfully woven in my life just to let them sit there he didn't and he didn't do that for you either 
and I can't wait until you see and you can look back at the canvas that he's woven for you. Y'all have a blessed day, and I promise you I'm here. It may take me a while to respond to your message, but I promise I'm here if you need anything. And even if you just want to feel pretty for a little bit, <laughs> and, and I can come over and, and play makeup artist because it's fun. <laughs> and I love y'all. And um, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I love each and every one of you. And I hope that you feel how much God loves you. Because it's indescribable. And when you feel it, y'all, when you feel that love, that is unconditional in that grace and that mercy that he has for us. Oh, when you realize that. Everything changes. So, oh, Danielle, I love you. And um, let's do this, y'all. Let's do it. Let's do it in the name of the Lord. And let's just, let's just go. Let's just go in his name and with grace and fill yourself with the spirit. And if you need some uplifting, um, maybe craziness then you let me know. I love y'all. Have a great day.